can, and today he's bringing the magic of winter indoors with his DIY Winter Village. And when I say his, I kind of mean ours. It's not really mine. It's, it's the family's. Ours. It is the family's. So yeah. You heard the letter before. Um, let's have a photo of, of what we have going on in the, on the big deck there. So... You all have seen this. I think it's beautiful. It's not something I made, but it's something our prop team designed to, to decorate the house. And we've gotten so many comments on how great it is and how can people make it at home. So I love that. So I'm like, oh, let's it let's looks fantastic. That. And that's one of the great things about all of our family members is you see something and then you kind of make figure it out how to make it and you tell us how to do right. it. So what do we so got? I'm gonna take people through. So Please. the one on our back deck is actually like it, it was made by a prop house and it's it's stacked like they are static. They're attached. They're but I thought if we had it at home, it'd be fun to make it so we could move and change. So what I've got here is I've got our sort of cityscape, but all of these panels come out. So all the different houses are separate and they're in a track. So you've got a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. So you can really change this. You can decide, oh, I want this one here. I want that one there. And really adapt it to whatever you want. You I just had really to one-up our great designers. Well, I, son, yeah, I gotta keep my job. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> all right, I love that. All right, should we get uh, on with the base? Yeah, so we're gonna start with the base. Okay, wait, this is like a one by 10, I think. This is a, a one by 10, okay. just pine from the um, hardware store. You'll find it in the in the shelving section, sometime in the wood section. You can go ahead and have them cut it. Okay. I cut it to the width of our shelf here. Yep. And then I cut the same width, these one by twos. Copy. Now what we're gonna do is, what you wanna do first is put down, first don't break the wood the wood glue. Okay, Cameron. Put, <laughs> I know, we've been working together too long. I guess so, I don't know what's happening. Put down a little wood glue, put down your one by right. two, and I'm lining it up here to the back. Right. So if you wanna look here, you can see the back is like flush right there, all right? Okay. And then you and wanna then go through, gonna go nails, through with right? the nail gun. There we go. Now, um, if I were doing this without a nail gun, what I would do is just do wood screws up from the back, from the bottom, yeah. so you wouldn't see those at all. Okay, very good. Um, now, now, what about spacing it? This is one of the greatest things to do. I used to do this when I was building fences all the time, too. Right, exactly. Using a spacer, yeah. So this is actually one of the boards we're going to use for the house. So whatever board you're going to use for the house, this is a one by six. Um, what you're going to do is put that there. Okay. And then put your next wood here. I'm not going to do wood glue, but you should do a little wood glue on there. Put and what's the purpose up. of doing both the glue, the wood glue? And the uh, uh, the nails. It's just going to make it super strong. Okay. And in reality, when you do wood glue and nails, the nails actually just hold it in place until the wood glue. The wood glue is strong enough to hold it. Now, would we want to press it firm against the spacer, or would you want a little sliver of room there? A little sliver of room. Great yeah. question. Because if you're going to paint it, you want enough room for that paint. Um, there we go. And oh. I do suggest the wood glue on this only because what you're gonna have is a lot of taking in and out, go. so it's good to have it. Now, you notice we did here, so I've got these three channels now, so that'll be our foreground, our midground, and our background. Yeah. Um, and then we have this extra space on the top, so you don't have to worry about measuring it, will it all fit. You leave that front, there's just sort of a decorative lip on it, and don't worry about nice. it. Nice, okay, right. very good. We've got our, our base got all our base. set, now we gotta work on the houses, the we're, village. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that exactly the way we did with the same wood, that same spacer we had. Great. What you're gonna do is figure out your roof line, get a speed square or a ruler, decide if you want a rect uh, uh, point, if you want an angle, whatever you want, go ahead and cut that out. And then you're going to actually draw in. So here I did a simple peak, and then I cut out my windows. And we did some twos, some ones, some singles. Yeah. Now, everyone at home, it's a little bit tricky using a jigsaw to cut out these squares. So I want to show everyone at home sort of the way I like to do it and the way yeah, you no, like to well, do Well, truthfully, too. you've helped me out a lot with this because I've had trouble with this in the past, too. So this is what this is what I understand that Ken's got me doing. You so draw your rectangle, and yeah. you want to get a pilot hole, and just drill that through right up against your line. Just make sure the hole is big enough for the blade of your jigsaw to go through. So it's just touching the line that you end up wanting to exactly. cut. Exactly. Okay, so that way you have a space here. And then what you're going to do is just jigsaw straight down. There we go. So what we did, we went just to the corner. So I'm going to let now, you talk for a second, then I'll finish. We went straight to the corner. Now we're going to back up, and we're going to do a curve, and then come down to this line and go to that corner. Okay, so once you do that, then you got to back out again. Exactly. So I'm going to get back in there again. So here we go. There you go. Now we come to that other, and we're just going to go straight to that corner. That Perfect. wasn't exactly straight, but it's pretty close. So now you see we've got that, and then what you're going to do is go back in the other direction and hit that corner. Do you want me to do that right now? Yeah, go ahead and do that. And that's going to give us our first corner. There we go. Get that so it's a little good thing to do. I'll probably have to touch that up a little bit, yeah, but that's the go. idea. Exactly. All right, go ahead and 
Go ahead and do that last little Ken's thing. Ken's like, you can't, you can't start get this that corner. Not there we go. So what you've got here, you've got that little corner here, and you're just going to repeat that four times, and the whole thing will pop out, and you'll have a nice, clean That's super square. helpful, because I've, I've struggled with that And that is that something that is handy to do when you do so many different projects. Do I have sawdust so, all over me? I thought I did, no, but it's actually so spots that's on my shirt. So we've done the other window, and then yeah. we went ahead and painted it white and added this gray trim. But I encourage everyone at home to do this to match your own decor. Like, if we were going to do this up in the country, I would leave it actually natural wood okay. and stain it. You could do it a fun color if you wanted to do this for a kid's beautiful. room. And then all we're doing to add that, camera's like, what's this beautiful gold mesh you yeah, have on a, the back of it? It's a fancy screen imported from Europe or something I'm like, like that. Uh, it's just Christmas ribbon. No, it's gold <laughs> ribbon that you can get anywhere at all. So all, all you do, get your, um, get your ribbon, and all I'm doing is putting it on the back with a little bit of tape. There we go. Great, great and job. And then you would do a little bit on the bottom half. And really, that's it's that simple. You can leave it without the ribbon, but I like I think the gold mesh adds a little a little something something. You're very fancy. And voila! Kid. Then it all we're gonna do is some gold mesh. Slide this right here in the back of our last little slot, just like that. And Full voila! Instructions, everybody, go to HallmarkChannel.com, and you can always follow Ken on social media at Kenneth Wingard. You've done it again, Ken. Thank you for all your help with that too.